Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Angela, the Traveling Crafter, and I'm here with a little unboxing. Uh, but before I get started, just a shout out to all of you who are new, who are new subscribers. I really appreciate you. And for all of you who are returning and continue to support the channel and myself, thank you. So I debated on whether I should do this haul because I got a whole lot of stuff. But I think, you know, a lot of you are ordering from Timu and I think it helps if, you know, you hear, well, what, what works, what doesn't, and what did you get? So I'm going to go ahead and do it. And I did open up everything in advance because I, it's very crinkly, those packages. Uh, the one thing that I would tell you is re just remember when you get it, it looks like a, one of those balls that you use the cellophane and you put all of the prizes in <laughs> and you just keep unwrapping it and unwrapping it. Yeah, that's pretty much what it's like. So let's start with this little tiny, the tinies. I did order, I did not have um, something like this to uh, use with my stamps and I have one of the platforms. And so there, this looks like kind of like a, what's that game called? Air hockey. Uh, so I didn't have any of these. And so I got, they, they came in a two pack. So I have one over um, next to me. And then this one will go with my uh, platform. But so far, I mean, I haven't really used it too much. I used it with one stamp earlier and it worked fine. So another one, just a little boring, but I wanted to see how this would work. Let's see, let's just grab out a piece of scrap paper. This looks good to, good enough. This is double-sided tape. There is not a lot here. It is extremely thick. I'm just going to take a little tiny piece off. Uh, so for the purpose that I was going to use it for, which was going to be... Here, why not? We'll just do it on this. I was going to use it potentially for making my washi. Uh, it is too thick. That oh here let's let's see how this little thing works. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Well, you get fuzzies on it if you do it that way. But let's just cut this off and see see how it plays out. Uh, so I'm not sure. I mean, for the purpose of putting it on to, oh, it comes off really easy. That's nice. Let's just pop it back on. Let's pop it on here. Put it on the positive pants. Yes, it's it works nice to put it on the back of something that you're mounting, I think would be okay. But you can kind of see it's pretty thick. So it does, and it, you know, if you want something to be a little pronounced, I don't think that would be bad either. We might as well cut this out and use it for something. There we go. So, would I order it again? Probably not. Uh, because it doesn't serve the purpose that I was intending. So, you know, there's that. I did order a couple pieces. Oh, I hate this feeling. Ooh. Ooh, the feeling of chiffon grosses me out. But I did order some of this frayed. There's a lot here. And I ordered just kind of a pinky color. By the way, I did look it up. I will tell you. The most expensive things that I bought, I think the highest, the number one thing I'll show you was like $5.49. Uh, then I think the second one was around $4. Everything else was between $3 and I think 98 cents. So most of which were in the 98 to $2 range. So there you go. All right. So those are nice. There's a lot of it and I'm just going to pop those away. Now I did. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's my other tip for you. If you're ordering on Timu, I, a lot of times, I'm just going to be honest. I go, I watch all of my other friends' Timu hauls, and I'm like, ooh, that's interesting. And then I go on Timu while I'm watching it, and I start popping things in my cart. Not intentionally to buy, but to put in the cart, and then to review it and look at it and see if I want it. Well, 
once you do that, you can select, it kind of stays there, if you will, and you can select if you want it in your cart. Well, I put some things in my cart, not from somebody else's Timo, but things I just saw, you know, because it's kind of hard to, to see until you open it up and it just saves me time. So I stuck it in there. Well, check before <laughs> you order to see if there's check marks next to the item because you end up getting things that you might not have needed. I ordered one thing. I got two of them, which I'll be selling on one of my live sales. And then I did get these I intentionally got, but I, because I always say, I'm not going to order any more washi. I did get two of these. This is the maps. And then the reason I got it is because it came with uh, the fragile tape, some music, really the fragile is what I wanted. What happened here? Oh, hang on. Let's just fix this. And I'll show you. There was some old um, advertisements. Okay, so we've got, these are the old advertisements. I'll show you. I did a whole page of washi and you're going to laugh at me. So this is the other reason. I wanted the one that had the little coupons and tickets on it. So I ordered them for specifically this one and this one and the maps. And then I got some other things like this one's like little labels. You can barely see it. And then this one's just the alphabet. And this one is like little baby ledger or writing. So all of those are really cool. And I did order two of them because I really liked them. And I have a project where I'm making some more fun faux things. And I thought those would work well with it. So I'm going to leave them in here. Uh, and the map. So there was that. Um, these go over here. I did order some charms. So that's going in an adhesive drawer. Oh gosh. And these are all sewing related. They're very bright. So I feel like I'm going to be antiquing them up in some way, shape or form. I'm certain that they're not probably rust rustable but there's little clothes pins and spools and bobbins and yarn there's a uh, mannequin some big scissors buttons darning needles so I thought they'd be perfect for all my sewing and or fashion journals and again I think they were like a dollar something I did buy these price tags just because I thought they were interesting they had them in white and in craft paper and I think these would just be fun to do something with. Now, surely I could use them for, you know, a price tag if I had a reason to do that. But they have a little, how oh, of course, the one that I'm going to choose. There we go. So, ignore my hands. I've been inking. But they've got this cute little round circle on it. And then it's printed price and the dollar sign in the blank. So, I thought this would be fun to vintage up. So I got a pack of those. I got some ice cream. No, not ice cream cones. What do you call these things? Popsicles? Popsicles. Because I thought those would be fun for summer journals. I went on to get charms that were for my cookbook journals. And then I ended up, which I suppose I could use these for cookbooks too. Uh, but they're kind of a resiny. They're nice. I mean... They'll be fine. So I'll put these away with my charms. And then I got, oh, I got some bays. I got some other ones, didn't I? Oh, yeah, they're in, in here. These are all gold. Sorry, I thought I opened all these up. This next thing I'm going to show. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are they all, yeah, they're all the same. Oh, they're pretty heavy. But those little charms. I didn't have any bee charms. I just did some bee digitals <clears throat> with butterflies and bees. Those are on my Kofi and Etsy. And so I thought, well, I needed some of those so that I could do a journal. And then the last thing I got, this is interesting. Again, I didn't open this up. I, my apologies. I thought I did. <coughs> mm. Ruby and I were out on the deck this morning having our coffee while she played. And I walked outside and it was like smoky. Like, it smelled like something was burning. I don't know. But it made me sneeze and cough, so I ended up coming inside. These are just plastic, but they're like little 
frames. Okay, well, they appear to be glued in here. You know what? I'm going to just try to get them out because I wanted the, my, what I wanted to do <clears throat> was use them. Okay, that one's not too bad. This one's not. It's got a dude with a something green in front of it. I don't know. Let's see if we can pop this out. Ooh. Ooh. Mommy. Well, it would be my luck that these are like really in here, but uh, I just wanted the frame part of it. Ooh. Careful, Ange. We don't need to cut your finger off on camera. Gosh, they just don't want to come out. Let's see if I try to push it. Oh my gosh, it's really in there. Well, made more, more better. <laughs> made better than what I expected. Uh, I could put some resin in here and make something with them through there, but they're not coming out, but there's a lot of them. They're, I mean, the designs are not really that... These are not too bad, but some of them are pretty weird. <laughs> There's some people. Let's just look what it, what else we got. We got a couple people. Those are the same. Uh, this is little abstract art in pink. Another dude. So we got two dudes. There's another dude. Oh, there's a girl with blonde hair. She's kind of cute. She'd be cute for a retro journal. And another little girl. Wouldn't this be cute? Like, pretend that you're doing, like, a, a gallery wall on your page. You know what I'm saying? That could even be your journal topper for, like, an art journal. Hey, maybe we'll do that. Yeah, I'm just playing. But those are kind of cute. Made what, a lot better than what I anticipated. I was hoping they would meet, be made very um, cheaply so I could pop out the middle. But they're not. So I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. And that's all there is in this little bag of tricks or box, package of tricks. Now the next one. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Okay, so this is going away. Um, let me just say, okay, here it is. Yeah. When I said, make sure you check and ensure that you don't order stuff that is not something you want. Well, I did this. <laughs> and so let's see, there's one other. Hang on. I, I got to see which one it is. Oh, this one. So this is 24 rolls of washi. And this was like in the 4 or $5 range. And then this one. I mean, it's got some puppies on it. We got all kinds of fun stuff. But I wasn't intending to buy those. Because I told you I wasn't buying washi anymore. <laughs> but I tried them all out. And I did a little collage for you. With those and a few other things. And so it is what it is. I mean, some of them are pretty stinking cute. So, but this is the only one I intended to buy. <laughs> and I wanted it because it had some really big pieces, which some of those do too, I guess. But it has mushrooms and some nature things. And I just thought they were really cute. A very nice variety. So this is the one I wanted. And the other thing I will tell you about these, the two that are in the plastic, they stink. Like they've got a really weird odor to them. I don't know if any of you have or ordered uh, washi before in packages like this, but I was like, ooh, that stinks. Uh, here is how the other washi that I did order comes originally. So once you open that up, these are all separate. They're not in a tube or anything, so just be aware of that. I then ordered, oh, here, let me show you. So this is the collage that I did of all of the washi. So as you can tell, there's a lot. Uh, does it stay down well? Um, it's not horrible. I did not use any glue anywhere, but like I see a little spot right here. Um, but for the most part, I'm just, you know, if you, like here it's coming up. 
Um, but you can kind of see like this one is a great big piece. So is this one. So is this one and this one. So they're pretty nice. Now this, this, this and this are all stickers and this. Uh, this is not a sticker. I'll show you this in a minute. Our additional things I got, not washy. Okay. So there you go. Now, I got to tell you something. I ordered myself a new bone folder because, you know, I've been complaining and whining to you guys for how long that I lost my, my good one. My very nice one. Guess what I found? A day before this arrived. My good one. Yeah. So I thought, well, I will just put this in. Maybe I'll just use the little one. I don't know. In my travel stuff. That's what I'm thinking. So I don't need it here. I did order uh, all of these packs. They were a uh, dollar something. And I just thought they were kind of fun. Well, I don't need this many of them. So what I'm intending to do is I'm putting some new kits together. And I thought, well, I'll share some of these in there too. Because I think they're kind of fun. So there's a pink one that's like an invoice. This would be something we would have now. There's some ledger paper. There's, uh, this is, oh, this is like FICA, state income tax, city income tax, and city spelled S-I-T-Y. And this is a Western Union telegram. This is an ice cream wholesale and retail something. <coughs> and this is beverage and cigar order. So I just got them. I thought they were pretty colors and they were very inexpensive. So I got those so I can add them to some of my kits. And what did I do? I made something with them. Oh, these. Using some of this. These are some of the stickers, some of the labels. Um, there's that. I just played around a little bit with the washi and such. See, like that one's not sticking down there too well. Uh, on these, just so I could give you something to see. This is my favorite, which I'll talk to you about that in a second. Okay, then, uh, these are the labels. I got two of these. Um, they're not, they don't look quite as old as I had hoped. Like, these are pretty, uh, but like, this one's not bad. This is the reason I got it, because I liked that and that. Um, but they're going to work with uh, this project that I'm doing soon. So I'm glad that they came. It, I didn't have to wait very long this time. I, it was like a week, maybe. So I got two of those. And then here's my other bag of fruit and vegetables. Now these were two separate ones and I just put them all together. But um, And they did have other fruits, I think. But these are the veggies. Like, I think that's supposed to be a potato. Uh, I like the strawberries. These, eh, they're okay. I don't know what that is supposed to be, but <clears throat> they're not horrible. They're charms. It's fine. Whoops. I'm putting, going to put these over here with the rest of them because they'll be fine on my cookbook. Cookbook dangles. I said I wasn't going to use all those squeaky things. Then I wanted to see, I got these, I again, I took them out of the package, but I thought these were kind of cute. They're just replicas of old, <clears throat> um, there's some baby things, valentines, there's a little fairy, uh, look at that, isn't that cute? The bluebird, so kind of kitschy little things that I thought would be cute in some of my uh, more kitschy journals or my reader journals. So I really like these a lot. And these are all stickers. So that made me happy. And then the other one that made me really happy, I only ordered one pack. They had a variety of them, but were the Cupies. And so there's quite a few in here. Uh, but this is one of them that I used. I thought those were super cute. And these are Dolly Dingles. So I thought those were adorable. And then, all right, I ordered these because I can't help myself when I see things that look like, 
interior design paints or anything like it, I get carried away. Yeah, I know. And, but I mean, look at all of these. Here's the interesting part. They did, some of them have, like this as a flower and some kind of word that, words that I can't read. But I want, bought one of every color. Now here's the interesting thing. Do you see these on here? Here's how they work. Let me just show you. Now remember, you're getting the whole palette. So you're getting a whole lot of different ones. But let me just show you with one that is darker. Let's get out another piece of this. You know what? We might need this for something else. So let's just get this bigger piece out. That's one of my... <clears throat> Here's how they work. This, so this is going to be really fun. I'm going to put these with uh, my art journal project. But if you were expecting the whole thing to come off as one, it does not. So you just pull it here to take it off. And, and I think after, you know, you're done, you can use that and use, you'll have another post. But then, let's see, let's just put a couple on here. This is what I wanted to show you. Come on. All right, so we'll just do it kind of. See, like that has uh, some kind of phrase on it. I don't know. But I like, I like how the, oops. I like how that works. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that wasn't very good. There we go. I'll put them all on here and then I'll show you the. And that wasn't straight. But then these are all separate. These little strips. So, you know, you could put them on there if you want or you don't have to. So, they're different. It wasn't what I expected. Uh, I mean, I expected them to all come off, be stickers, but I didn't expect them to come off single. Well, that one doesn't come off. But I think what you could do... You could probably use the whole thing and just glue it down. I would, I would think it wouldn't be the end of the world, but that's what they are. So I'm going to put those with my projects that is upcoming. And then this was kind of a cool little thing, but the first thing I put on here, where did I put that at? Oh, I put it on the, um, on this. It says through the muddy. I don't know. You know, sometimes the interpretation of a, <laughs> a saying or a quote when you get it from here, it you know, they were produced by some a different language, but or in a country where they speak a different language. But this is really like the paper is really cool. And I mean it's different there's a different saying on each one and different papers. So I think it's I think it's really cute. So that will go with my um, phrases and sayings. What else did I get that's little? Oh, I showed you those. I got two packs of these. I'm always a sucker for stickers. I know. I think these are labels. Again, I got these to kind of go with the airmail ones. Uh, and I had two things for our 100 day challenge ATH around the house. And so I thought, well, labels, I could maybe do something with these. So there's that pack. And then there is, so this is the green pack. Label first retro wave. And then this one is called reminisce. Label, label <laughs> first in blue. And let's see. And then that's just got mostly blue, some reds. So. I feel like I order these kind of things every single time I order from there, but, and like I said, I'm very impressed with the, the, uh, the quality so far. So good. Oh, and then the last thing I got as far as in the way of stickers is this one. And it's just like old advertisements and like, here's one that I did with an old advertisement. Here's one I did with the little kitschy ones. And then those airmail stickers. But it's just got different, tons of different little copies of advertisements from like the 50s or so. So those are cute. I think I already have some of those too, but well, I got more now. 
So I'll put those up there. And then I got, I wanted to try these out. Um, they're little, they're only four by five and a half, but they're just copies of <clears throat> old dress patterns. And it looks like there's a couple of each one. And there's a lot. I mean, there's a... And so this one was the blue. Yeah, that was blue. And then this one it doesn't have a name. A no, new look. Side closings. This one, I think, was... Yeah, this was... Oh, shoot. I can't remember what they called it. Sketches or something like that. Indulge yourself in a dash of drama. So I thought these are cute. And I will use them. They'll go with my sewing stuff, which I just busted out the other day and was like, I need to get on that. <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, here's something. Oh, I should try this while we're here. This was, I was just curious. It says 24 colors, ocean color, glittery watercolor. And what I thought was cute is that it does come with a little palette so you can do your swatches. So you would put your swatches up here. And then when you open it, you can see, you know, one, two, three, four. But let's just try this out um, and see what these look like. I'm just going to use my water brush. Let's use a color that's a little darker so you guys can see it. All right, let's see what happens here, friends. Ooh, looks like it's got an, ooh, it's got a nice pigment. Wow, that's impressive. Kind of goes with that, doesn't it? Interesting. Well, let's try another one. Let's try this purple. I think it's purple. Wow. Now, supposedly it's glittery, but I, maybe when it dries, it will be glittery. I like this a lot. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's winning. I would order this in more colors again. Wowza. Let's try one more color. Get this off there. Get the purple off. Let's try a green. Wow, and they, and they're individual, so you can, could take them out. Oh my goodness. I like it. Okay. Score. Let me show you guys this again. Okay, I don't want to do that, though, because I want to make sure. It is, it comes in a pack like this, D-E-D-E-D-E-R, or E-P-R-A-Z. And it's got a boat on the front, and it says that, da dead praised, whatever, ocean color, glittery watercolor. And that's what it looks like on the back. Very heavy, but too, by the way. <clears throat> okay, then to carry on with some more, let's move that out of the way so I don't get any. Some more what? Fashion. I wanted to keep these. Can I pull it off without it? Without ripping it? Well, no, but you can kind of make it. I thought that was cute. I think we can use it for something. And then this one. So that was called, this one is called Pink Illustrated. And here it says Pink Pictorial. It's 50 pieces. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Little advertisements. Lots of children's stuff. Super cute. Mostly from the 20s. All right, winning, winning, scored on that one. Let's see, and this one is, and what I tried to do this time was order only things that I needed. Oh, I, okay, I didn't need any of it, but this is called Fashion Collection, and this is Slenderette Beauty. Several of the same. So 
So it seems like the other one didn't have as many. It had, maybe I was making that up. Oh no, it's the same. Looks like there's four of each, four of each design. Uh, but I tried to get them for, I tried to get things that were for upcoming projects with the exception, just a couple things. This again was something, these are tiny labels, but I think they'll work for what I'm, I'm working on. So, and this is what it looks like missing label. It says 16 pieces, which really means 16 pages. And then you got all your pieces on there. I did order, I wanted to try this little pack of, this is in bloom paper. Uh, I don't know if I've really ordered any real paper, paper that I can remember. Have I? It's cute. And there, it's a six by six. There's 12 sheets, so it's fine. I just, I'll stick it in with my other scrap pieces and we'll go from there. Then the last, well, not the last thing. I did order these. These are all stickers, which I really like them. Did I do one? Yes. So on here, this and this are both one of these. So there's a ticket booklet. There's an Atlas booklet. And these are like the old pharmacy labels and then this one is just like uh ledger and graphs but it really i mean look at how cool that you could use any background color this is a great way to use up your uh you know just little scraps of cardstock so for example let me just let's take this one off so i like that these were vellum stick this is going to be a game changer because you can do a ton of stuff with these don't fail me now my favorite thing this time is coming up and i'm really was really impressed but this might be my second favorite oh well all right let's just pull this off <laughs> Here, let's cut it. I just want the one ticket, please. All right, stick that back in here. Move it to the side and just try this. So if you wanted to make a bunch of little tickets in a, ver a variety, a variety of colors, and you know, you don't have the real deal, I mean, that's pretty cute. Let's try a label. Let's try a pharmacy label. And they're each perforated. They worked really nice on that um, tag that I did. You kind of got to get them really squished down, but there you go. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, Demi just got up, so it might get loud here for a second. All right, now, I did buy a bunch of stamps that I need for this project. And I, the reason I like buying the stamps is because they're cheap. And I'm not worried if they're, they're uh, if they get ruined. So I'll show you those last. I think I've got covered everything else except my most favorite thing. And I'm going to get this. Hang on a second. I do have my receipt here. I wanted to see um, what that came with. Um, where is it? Hang on. Bear with me. Oh, the fashion ones are $1.99 a piece. The, the watercolors, I lied, are the most expensive. Those were $9. So they are expensive, more expensive, but where is the... Hang with me. I was just so impressed with it. And I, with this. Oh, here it is. It says 57 Poems of Memories Index Labels Materials. $5.99 for this pack. You guys, this is awesome. So in the back are full sheets of stickers. Now, I've got these from other places, from Amazon. And sometimes... They're just not good. 
uh, like I've gotten them before from the Rosie Posy ones. And then you have to cut each one of them out in order for, and then pull off the sticker. These are already set for you. And there is a lot. And they came off so nicely, so easily. I was highly impressed. So that would be my, that was my favorite. And I would say, if you're going to buy one thing, that would be it. Now I did, I did buy a bunch of, like I said, stamps. Uh, because they were inexpensive. So this one is, I'm not going to take them all out, but this is music notes. Thought that was fun. This is, I have some, I think, close to my heart stitches. And these were just some additional ones. There were some different things in there. I thought I would try them out. <clears throat> Great for your sewing journal. This one is the one I ordered two of. So one of those is going to be coming up for auction. And they were not very expensive either. Let me see. How much were these? $1.57 for the stamps. See what I'm saying? Cheapy, much cheaper son. That's awesome. Um, this is ink bottles. So I bought this one and the paint brushes and such. I made some of these myself, like drew them, but I'm working on a, um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. If it's an art journal, a sketch journal, an artist notebook, I don't know, but that's why I bought those. This, I just wanted to try. Um, this is just different writing. I thought that would be fun. And then this one goes, uh, will go with, uh, some of the um, faux pieces we're making, but this is in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is all in another language. And I liked that a lot. And then <clears throat> the last one. Oh no, not the last one. I used this one this morning. I wanted to try it. I did get this one. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now the last one that I got was one sheet and it was all stuck together. And I'll show you. I very carefully <laughs> took them all apart. And then I used just a dab of um, glue stick to keep them on here so that on the back part of it. And I just cut every single one of these apart because I didn't, I wanted to be able to use them individually. And then I just stuck them in one of those sleeves. And here's what the outcome was. I just kind of played around with it. This is neat. Uh, I like these a lot and they too were like a dollar whatever I said, 97, 67, um, well worth it. Now you have to have a steady hand and you have to be really patient when you're cutting them. I used my knife. Um, but I love, 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 love them. So I got some pretty fun things this week and or this time, <laughs> not this week. I don't make it a habit to, uh, order on the week, you know, on a weekly basis, but it's great because I had wanted to, a few things. I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I was able to get what I needed for some of those upcoming projects and not spend a whole lot of money at all. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. Uh, until next time, remember to take time to just be, and we'll see you soon. Cheers.